Hello and welcome to Glaive Basics. In this lesson, we'll be going over some of the basics of shots for rattan SCA. I'm going to start with the initial stance, and this is all about having the left foot forward pointing at the target, the right foot shoulders shoulder width apart, and it should be at 45 degrees from the target. The left hand low at shoulder height, and the right hand high above the head. The butt spike is actually facing forward, and the cutting blade and the thrusting tips are held up high. You're looking through the shaft with both eyes open and both eyes on the target. Here we're going to open with some uh, opening cuts, so initial stance and throwing cuts. I'm doing repetitions to so get a good idea of what's happening. Basically hitting the high target. Cutting low. Changing the low target. Notice that the uh, drop of the blade and the inversion. And from the side it starts looking like a rowing motion. Again, got the chop to the offside head. Offside high. And then we have lean and the chop to the offside hip or the offside low. We'll have little gaps where I stop all the video. Here we're going at the square on view. You'll notice my uh, target has a blade po uh, pointing out at me in order to encourage me to keep off the line. Don't just walk onto the opponent's blade. It's very silly. So you need to do things to not do that. Here we're doing the same opening cuts from the other side. You see that at all times, one of the hands should stay high, at least shoulder height preferably above the head. Uh, and that means that if your opponent throws at you, you've got, got a defense to the head. Throw cuts to the cuts to low. Notice the hands cross over. And at first it'll seem awkward, but you'll get rid of that with constant drilling. There are good reasons for it. We'll go into in further videos. Here again, just come out for this. On the, the down the line view and we're throwing cuts from the opening position. One of the things I've got here is I've got the concrete path to allow you to see where actual line is. And you'll see I'm stepping off line when I'm stepping off the path. Going under, throwing cuts under. Once again crossing over. And you notice that it ends up being a back blade into the low cut. A forward blade with the red line, and on the back I've got a yellow line to show you when I'm using the back of the blade. And I think we're about to go to thrusts. So there's the step and the thrust. No, so, no. I'm still on cuts. Sorry, one more cut video. Down and under. Down and over the top. And down it comes. Once again, we've got the inversion. And you can notice they were hitting with the yellow back of the blade. Now we're taking it offline, we're thrusting, blade comes down, and allows for the thrust. Here come those thrusts again, from square on, so you throw, and push, throw, and push. Step, throw, and push. push. Step, throw, and push. Step, throw. That backhand like, stays up high to defend the head. Here we're doing inversion. Ends up ending up lower with those crossed hands, but we're well off to the side. Cross and push. 
across and push. Throwing him you know, would be sh you know, short of the target and then stepping through with the thrust. Now we're going to transition in the butt spike. No, no. Back on thrust. We're still on the thrusts. Under thrust. Hello, Ruby. Under thrust. Under thrust. Here are the butt spikes. Essentially a lunge. You notice how well protected the head is. So lunge. And the other hand stays high enough to protect the head. Lunge. Protect. Lunge. And protect. Lunge. And protect. Feet slide. They're not big lifting steps. They're just enough to make the slide not lifting high or stepping high Your feet are moments above the ground here you see the lean the foot just just lifts and moves and lands and plants and then the back foot follows with the power to provide the power to the thrust and the movement the momentum of your body moving forward what's this here stepping off the path as in stepping out of line and then thrusting to the head. Stepping offline and then thrusting to the to the uh, hip. Offline and thrusting. This is the open hour. Up over and through. Up over and through. And there's very complicated movement the hand you notice that the hands compressing and then throwing up and over now we're starting with opening cuts and moving into transitions so we throw and i pull back the thrust I pull back into the starting position i throw and then i cut to the hip I throw and I cross my arms and hit to the opposite side of hip and return back to the head. So you know, throw to the head. And throw to the head on the other side. Throw to the head. You can see my hands reverse. I thrust through and then use that coiled up energy to strike the hip. Thank you all very much for watching. I uh, hope you have plenty of questions in the comments and let me know how I can improve. Thank you very much for Warwick for uh, encouraging me to do this video and thank you to all my teachers. I did listen.